Hey yo everybody, Haku here. Just woke up on Monday morning, so you guys know that means there's a new Tower of God chapter up for the live reaction to do of whatever. But uh, this week we have chapter 308 or season 2 episode 228. And uh, this one, I saw Wangnan in the thumbnail. I wasn't really expecting us to go anymore with Wangnan for right now. I was kind of expecting us to flash back over to Bomb's team and then see Wangnan a little bit later. But uh, it appears as though we're getting Wangnan, and the first panel I see opening up the chapter is Bomb here. So maybe we'll be flashing back and forth between the two groups. Um, I'm not sure right now. So uh, let's get into reading it, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Um, so we have Bomb still sitting in his room. Hear that rattling noise. The panels from the end of last chapter. And we have a flashback. In the end, I failed to save anyone. All I did was get protected. I was too conceited. I couldn't even save one or two people's lives. Could I ever find the real me like this? If I were stronger, I could have protected everyone. Even great power. Er. Even greater power. I need power that cannot lose to anything. Tower of God, the Hell Train, Wangnan. So we're still in the Wangnan arc. Where is this? Says Wangnan. It's so dark that I can't see anything. And then um, he sees Prince and Akraptor in the distance. Akraptor? Prince? Prince, Akraptor, what are you guys doing over there? And then they start walking away from him. Prince, Akraptor, where are you guys going? They have left for somewhere far away says Nia from behind him. They can't return now, like me. N nia You still haven't saved anyone, Wangnan. Nia, you always draw people near you and then lead them to their death. You've always done that. Remember? The countless companions that you've met so far on your way up the tower? Man, and we see all of the people from the past. Or just random people that he's been teamed with. I don't really recognize any of them as people we know. Have all, or yeah, have all disappeared and left your side with only you surviving. You're a liar. The reasons that your companions left you is because either they got sick of your recklessness or were sacrificed. You cowardly liar. You draw people towards you with your apparent courage and ideals. But it's only ever you who survives. The reason that you're always a loner is entirely because of yourself. It's time to wake up from your dream now, Prince of the Red Light District. Then he wakes up and says, Nia. And we see um, Wangnan and me saying in shackles. And still hear the rattling noise. Was that a dream? Where am I? Have I gotten caught? Then, Prince and Akraptor being dead isn't a dream. Help, he says. And then he hears other people saying, Help, help, Wangnan. Help me, Wangnan. Help. You said that you needed me. You told me to trust you. For us. Take responsibility for us. Help, help, help me. And then he yells and slams his hands down. And he's screaming. And Mi Sang wakes up and looks over. Wah. It looks like there's a missing page there, but... I don't know. Nothing's loading, so I guess not. Wah. Wagnan? He's still screaming. Are you okay, Wagnan? And then we see Joaquin walking by the door. Looking through the, uh, window bars. Hey, keep it down. You're being noisy. I let you two live because that bitch Rachel says so, but if you keep making noise, I'll devour one of you two. And then, uh, Wingman is just gasping for air. How can someone who's climbed 40 floors of the tower whine over a few dead companions? And Wingman is still crying. Pathetic. It's, a, it's my fault. Because of me, Prince and Akraptor are dead. Why am I so incompetent? Hmm, why do I keep surrounding myself with losers, says Joaquin. Is that yellow-haired kid immortal? It seems like I've already seen him avoid death several times. 
Maybe he's not just nothing after all, thinks Joaquin. Joaquin, says Casano. Ah, Casano Benyamino. Have you finally been released from the pocket ball? <laughs> pocket ball? Okay. You, why didn't you tell me that they had laid a trap? I fought him seriously without even knowing about that. Ah, well that was to make the deception perfect. They would have noticed if you had slipped up with your acting. Stop complaining about everything. But I didn't think that yellow-haired kid would capture you either. Honestly, I was really disappointed. Guess you don't work very well, or guess I guess you don't work very well since you're an since you're a fake ignition weapon. Who said I'm fake? He yells. Your head. And then he points his finger straight into the eyes of um, Casano. I thought you would be a decent weapon since you're not a since you're not very emotional for a human, but I guess you can't control yourself as well as I thought. Shall I tell you why swords are better weapons than hands? Because they have no emotions. Weapons with emotions are simply cumbersome accessories. All weapons, all weapons need is to be sharp. But hands are different. They have things like rage, pleasure, hesitation. That's the natural limit of hands. So get rid of your emotions if you want to become a true weapon, since you'll soon be abandoned. If you remain in that ambiguous state, neither human nor weapon, the organization known as FUG is not tolerant enough to keep a dull weapon. What? You want to take both of them with you? Says Yura to Rachel. Sorry about that. Just one of them would be plenty as a hostage. Wouldn't it be inconvenient to wander around with both of them? You have a test coming up soon. Um... It will be fine. The test is no problem as long as Joaquin is with me. Plus, I'll be er, plus I'll be stuck if I only take one of them with me and they escape or die. It's unclear whether we'll be whether we'll even be able to find anyone at the next stations. Based on the information we've acquired from Emily, in order to enter the floor of death, we absolutely need one person as a living sacrifice. But but what if they try to hurt you out of revenge? Don't worry too much. The greater concern is, what about our companion, whom we're taking to the floor of death? Ah, don't worry about that. The greatest d rank scout is getting on the train at the next station. Greatest d rank scout, eh? Let's see. This does not look like anybody we've met before, so new character, presumably. So you can count on that man, and your aha laughs. Although it does bother me that we're still... Not sure whether he will join our team. How does she make herself look so sparkly, thinks Rachel. Ah, by the way, did you get through body cavity or did you get through body cavity search perfectly? If they hit a knife or something like or knife or something like last time, yeah, don't worry about that. Even though I did a thorough check of their inventory with my lighthouse, as a result of the inspection, I didn't find anything except a bomb. They likely won't be able to escape last time. I see, you really are thorough, Rachel. I was worried for nothing. Okay, that was a weird thing to throw in there. Rachel with that body cavity search. Well, I'll get going now. We have a we have a test tomorrow for getting to the next floor. So get to bed early, Rachel. Sure, take care, Yura. And again, Yura still looking pretty click click, moving up the waifu list. And then Rachel's hands are still shaking. Yeah, and it looks like it's really bothering her that she killed somebody. Yep. We discussed this last week, actually, how it really seemed like she was not actually planning for her to kill somebody herself. It's just killing people after all, she thinks. And she tries to calm herself down. But did he say his name was Wang Ninja? That man, who on earth is he? I thought he was just a regular traveling with bomb, but he doesn't seem to be. And we see uh, Misang asking him if he's okay. Why would that man have a ring like this? And she's holding um, the ring with the uh, three eyes on it. Then we see it looks like a uh, bomb's door open, and Kuhn walks in. Bomb. Then hear the rattling still. Who in the heck is this? 
So you've come, boy. God of Guardians. And Bomb went back to the God of Guardians. Teach me how to become a god. Yo, Bomb going back for more training. Oh my gosh, so much went on. Mostly just, I don't know, it felt, yeah, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It felt like more epilogue kind of stuff. It was a very subdued chapter, more about what people were feeling than actual actions going on. Um, so it's going to be an odd one to uh, review and to talk about and discuss and everything, but uh, the review will be up tomorrow like always. I really did like it though. I've liked pretty much every chapter in the Hell Train. I don't think we've really had a bad chapter. Uh, there have been some chapters that were eh, but none that were bad. So uh, yeah, another good chapter. Pretty solid, but uh, I didn't think it was really that exceptional or special, but I'll have to read through it a bunch more to do my review tomorrow, of course. And uh, so yeah, that's it. Thank you once again for watching, and uh, like if you did like the video, comment down there. And tell me what you thought of this chapter and what you thought of my first thoughts and reaction to it. Um, subscribe for more Tower of God and a ton of other things on the channel. Just a veritable shit ton. Um, uh, follow on Twitter as well if you want and I'll try to keep you updated there on stuff for the channel. And uh, that's it. So thank you one last time for watching and I'll see you all next time.